Hi, I'm Spencer Colgan from Spencer Colgan is Wallpaper. This is commercial vinyl, and we're using a clay-based glue to adhere it to the wall. I want to show you something that cost a general contractor for whom I work about $3,500. It was on a Wolf Gordon fire-resistant wall covering that I installed in a restaurant. They called me, they called another wallpaper hanger, they hired a different guy. They called me back to fix the guy's mess. And so they said, the wallpaper should be here in a day or two. I said, you already had it. They said, the guy messed up. And so we want you to fix it. Among the many things that I had to do, one of them was to fix this in the wallpaper. The fellow who installed the wallpaper wasn't able to get these wrinkles out of the wallpaper, okay? This is vinyl, and so these are wrinkles in the paper. How does that get there? Well, when you're dealing with 54-inch wallpaper, that's literally as wide as you can spread your hands, you have to fold it. It's so heavy and cumbersome that you tend to fold it. What happens when you fold it, it causes, it causes heat, okay? That's caused by heat. In reality, what is that? The fold caused friction, which caused an expansion of the vinyl in that area. That's all it is. It's not severely distorted, it's slightly distorted. How do you get it back? With heat. And so the contractor spent a few thousand dollars more than he had to, because one of the problems, among many, that were existent in the wallpaper that I had to fix was this easily fixable issue. But the GC, the general contractor, didn't know it. A lot of GCs don't know much about wallpaper. They rely on the guy who gives the cheapest price. And he paid dearly for that mistake. But I wanna show you, if you have vinyl, this is not going to work for paper goods. This is vinyl, and it's, it'll come to you as common sense. If you have vinyl that got bent, you're gonna bend it back with heat. Let's try it. So, now look, all the smoothing in the world isn't going to get it out. Even though you say, oh, it looks good, Spencer, it looks good, keep doing it. Not gonna do it. These wrinkles are going to come back, okay? And if I keep doing this, I'm going to mar the surface of this wall cover. I got a commercial uh, hot air gun. You get it hot. If you overdo it, you'll ruin the paper. If you underdo it, you won't do it enough. Now, we're gonna put the heat on the wrinkle, above and below it. I'm gonna feel it with the back of my hand. It's cold. It's gotta be hot. It's gotta be where this part of your hand goes, <coughs> you pull it off. If, it's, if your hand can stay there, it's not hot enough. Now, unless you have some issue with neuropathy, that rule wouldn't apply to you. So, you have to use some other part of your body. Not hot enough. You want to get it where it's hot to the sensitive part of your hand. Look at that. Look at how that came out. Don't overheat it. Bring the heat up and down, up and down. Look at that. Can you tell that it's all out, cameraman? Okay. Now, here's an interesting thing. You see this little bump here? Fortunately, I'm close to the bottom. I could just pull it up and get that off. That is not on my wallpaper. That was on the wall. Still a wallpaper hanging fault, right? Okay, let's see something. That's not gonna get it off. Let's just get out the rest of this wrinkle. Now there's a little bump here, watch this. I don't know if this is gonna work, but before I lift that paper, I'm gonna try it. Is it out? Okay, good. Okay, so what did I do? Besides hurting my hand when I just did that, that hurt. The rest of the, I must be on a stud here. Um, anyway, I pulverized whatever it was that was, that was there, okay? Doesn't always work, but sometimes it does. 
So you see that wrinkle, it's all out, right? So isn't that a good trick? I want you to try your best to get your wrinkles out of your vinyl. Remember what I said, if, it, if you did it on paper, here's what would happen on your paper. You're gonna have a color, you're gonna have a color distortion. If you should crease your paper, especially a purple or something with a lot of color, once you crease it like that after it's wet, you're not gonna be able to use it because the color will be so stressed there, it'll be so discolored when you put it on, you'll always notice it. But this is for vinyl application, okay? Now, I just wanna show you one last thing before I sign out here. Okay, so this is thick. Now, let me exaggerate. Picture installing this on your wall, okay? You're trying to bend this into your woodwork so that you can make a nice cut. This doesn't bend much, right? But watch this. Look at how easily it bends now. Whew, that's hot. Okay, same, same idea here. If I cut this, it's gonna fall short of the woodwork. Why is that? Because I can't sufficiently get the, the corner in place because it's not thin enough. This is commercial stuff, it's nice and thick. So I'm gonna heat it up to stretch it, watch this. Oh, smell it. Smell it burning. Look at how it's fitting in my corner now, right? It's staying. Big difference, okay? Please don't overdo your vinyl. You'll know. Use the, uh, the touch test. Now you see what I'm doing? I'm making it thin in the corner. So therefore, to lay it down in the corner, all right? We want to make it nice and... Right? Nice and um, malleable. Okay, so we take a nice sharp one. Okay. Don't do this. Don't throw your blades around the job site. Just kidding. Okay. Now I'm cutting on my side of this green smoother. It's a big difference. You want to cut and you want to move the smoother with the knife. Always looking in the direction you're going to because this can cut somebody, obviously. So you just want to be safe. Now I'm going to go real fast. Okay, now, my, wall, my piece of wallpaper is hot, okay, and it should be because I heated it up to fit into that area. Put that piece in with my finger, make it nice and clean, get the glue off. Now, let's see how we did. Look at that nice fit. Look at that sharp cut of the wallpaper right in the top part of that that um that piece of woodwork now if you didn't heat it up i want you to know that it would fall short because you have so much uh thickness there it's called millage so it's thick and you couldn't get it into the corner so you'd say what how did i cut it short you cut it short because you couldn't get it in the corner and so she just pulled back there you have two tips. Hope you use them. If you like the video, click on like. This is Spencer Colgan from Spencer Colgan's Wallpaper. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Please subscribe.